couple. I don't. I think when I don't do something to it, even if I like it in the mirror, it doesn't look good on camera. Hmm. So. It's a lot straighter on this side. Yeah. It's just the way my hair does. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I think the cut is different on that side, too. It's a little shorter, like layers. A lot of my bangs yeah. go on that side. Yeah. The My grown-out bangs. Yeah. Which, by the way, I've been thinking about getting short bangs. Like, like above my short. eyebrow short. Ooh. Oh. Like baby bangs? Yeah. <laughs> that are coming back in style? They are. I don't know how it fit. I don't know. I know, right? Here's my thing about those. It's like, okay. some people can really pull they them They can. Off. And it's so cool. It's so cute. And so listen, cool. if I can't, that's fine. They'll grow out, right? And yes. I need to do it now so they can grow out for book net fest. <laughs> Just, just above the be the eyebrow. Yeah. Thoughts? Okay, well, I'm a firm believer in do it. Yeah. Because hair always grows back. It does. You know? And it's a thing I want to try. Yeah. I feel like well, I'm not doing it, though. It's hard to imagine. I'm not, well, I don't, yeah, it's hard to imagine. Are you going to have it, like, thin? No. You're going to have it thick? Probably, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might just try it. Because I want to. Well, I chopped all my hair off, and I I'll never too. do it again, right. but I'm glad I did. Me too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm definitely from, and that, growing that out took forever. Right. Bangs, no time. Yeah. yeah. Right. Just a few weeks, and then they'll and, be Yeah, and you've length. had straight bangs yes. before anyway. And yeah. they look really good. Thank you. Yeah. So, they're just shorter. And then. And you have beautiful eyebrows. And now they're down to here. So my hair grows long. Yeah. Fast, I mean. Yeah. <laughs> my hair grows long well it does because i never i get a haircut like once a year yeah maybe twice a year if i'm feeling it yeah okay it's i think if my hair was longer i would do layers, try layers i yeah. love your haircut thank, thank you it's so beautiful and the I way you wore your hair last night was so pretty thank you you look gorgeous last thank night thank you very much i appreciate that i just kept admiring you joshana c tweeted me okay let's start Mm -hmm. with our things. Oh, okay. Today we're going to do a new thing we've never done before and that's talk about our recent favorites. Yeah, I'm really excited to do this. Me too. A lot of people do these and yes. I really like watching them. I do too. And I also feel like it's a cool way to get to know people outside mm -hmm. of booktube. Right, yes. All of our things are non-book related. Yeah. Cool. Okay, we also kind of divided into categories to Help give us some spitball ideas right. for our first time, yeah. you know? Okay, cool. Do we want to do our intro first? Sure. Okay. Hi, I'm Christina. <laughs> I'm Jessica. <laughs> and you're watching Game, Game of, of Tones. Tones. Oh, we just... That was so bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have... You have movies. I, I didn't... You didn't have a movie I category? I didn't have a movie category because it's rare that I watch movies, so I was like... Eh. Yeah, I'm, we're more of a TV, TV people now. Yeah. TV's really being awesome. I have one for TV. Me too. <laughs> okay, cool. Okay. Uh, this one is a new Netflix movie. It's called Always Be My Maybe. Ooh, I saw a preview for that, and it looks really cute. It is. And Keanu Reeves. <laughs> I didn't know he was going to be in it. That's I saw like the a... preview for it, and so that's why I was like, what? I saw the preview too, but I guess I didn't see that one because yeah. I did not see Keanu Reeves in it. <laughs> I was I don't want to watch that. It's good. Mm -hmm. It is a classic romantic comedy. Yeah. The setup with the, you got the girl and mm -hmm. she's got her quirky best friend. Yeah. And there's a guy and then they fall in love, but there are all these obstacles because there are different statuses. And mm -hmm. uh, in this one, they're both Asian, which I really liked. Yeah. How they um, talk about their culture and stuff. Um, cool. I just loved it. Good. It was fun. That's awesome. Yeah, cool. Speaking of Netflix, okay, my recent favorite TV show. I'm a little late to start watching it. Sabrina season two. I we finished it two nights ago. I have not yet. Okay, I have okay. not. Yeah, and I have things I want to say about it. Yeah, it's just it can be and fun good. and beautiful. I love the stunning. first season as well because I like how they went like darker with it. Mm -hmm. I love the darkness. Yeah the overtone of that right. and then this season I was like oh it's pretty good and then like right about halfway yeah things are happening and I was like "Ooh, this got real interesting we kind of 
stopped watching and then you said that there was like some crazy things happening in the next episode and it did it was yeah it did get crazy yeah so it's really good i think the writing was better in the first season for some reason Mm -hmm. but yeah i still love it yeah i'm not as invested into necessarily like the friendships as i was the first season but there's a lot of inclusiveness Mm -hmm. saying that right like Mm -hmm. There's a trans character. Yeah. There is a trans character, which is great. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, I just, I'm really loving it. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. That's right. Okay, well, then I'll talk about my new TV show that I just recently watched the first season of, and then I told you about, because it was hilarious, and that is Historical Roast. Oh, yeah. With yeah, Jeff yeah. Ross, and the premise is they pick one famous person who is no longer living, and they roast them. With characters who are no longer living. Yeah. Like, they did Abraham Lincoln and mm-hmm. had John Milk's Booth, yeah. Mary Todd Lincoln, uh-huh. and Harriet Tubman. Good job. And it was... It's really funny. It is so funny. It is really, really funny. And it's set up like a classic roast. They all roast Abraham Each Lincoln, other, and uh-huh. then Abraham gets up and roasts everyone else or yeah. whatever. It's, it's really funny. Mm-hmm. Also, I feel like, oh... I'm learning things, too. (laughs) (laughs) We watched a few episodes of it. We haven't watched any more yet, but, Mm -hmm. yeah, I really like that, too. Cool. Okay, next. Okay, so recently, my husband told me about this song, Little Yellow Spider, by (sighs) Devendra Banhart. Thank you. I didn't want to pronounce that. And I'd never heard it before, and he was like, oh, this is a song that I listened to a lot when he was a little bit younger and drew a lot of inspiration like for his music from that and things like that and uh so it's just like a nice little like folky kind of sort of happy song mm-hmm. and it just makes me happy i love this song. Damn cold. Little white monkey staring at the sand Well, maybe that monkey figured out something I couldn't understand Who knows? Well, I came upon a dancing crab And I stopped to watch it shake I said, dance for me just one more time Before you hibernate Okay, anyway Oh, uh, my turn yeah. Okay um, I would be remiss if I didn't use this opportunity to plug my husband's band. Yes! Two Dead Men. Yes. This is their EP, Old Souls, New Bones. And they are on Spotify, you, iTunes, and other streaming apps for your listening pleasure. And they recently did their first music video, which That's turned right. out really, really cool. Yeah. yeah. Check it out on uh, their Instagram, Two Dead Men, or uh, Facebook.com slash Two Dead Men. You can find the links below. <laughs> Cool. Um, I really like them. This is a they they're so good. They're really good. Yeah. Okay. I love his spoken word. He does spoken word and one yeah. of the songs. Then. My husband is a great songwriter. He really is. Yeah, yeah. He's a great guy. He is. I like him a lot. I do too. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> listening to recently it is called committed oh do you know this one i've heard of that and i've listened to a couple episodes but it's been okay it's super interesting it is super interesting yeah. the uh, person who runs it it's her name is joe piazza and she interviews couples and you get to hear um about how they got together and what trials they have faced mm-hmm. and how they've overcome it those things and it's just really beautiful. And her voice is, like, so smooth. And they use, like, relaxing music during transi- transitions in the story. And, yeah, I just really love it. I wanna, I'm want i trying to think of, like, an example. Um, I, list, I know one that I listened to. It talked about a couple that had was, like, newlyweds and was in the Boston Marathon bombing. Yeah. And then they both lost limbs from that, I believe. Mm-hmm. And they had to figure out 
how to be together because they're newlyweds. And then obviously then they went through this tragic accident and well, not an accident, but this tragic event. And then they both had their own trauma to deal with, but also like each other and stuff like that. Yes. Uh, I liked that one a lot. That was really And I think it's super interesting to hear about people's relationships. I do too. And just... You know, everybody is different, and mm-hmm. it's one relationship I like listening to a lot is Dak Shepherds and um, Kristen Bell. Kristen Bell, yeah, they're so cute. They are adorable. And uh, on Armchair Expert, which is another great podcast. Yes, excellent podcast. And I think the very first episode he interviews her. Yes, and they talk about their relationship, and that like really shifted my perspective on my own relationship, and in a good way. Like it was just like. Oh, I never looked at things that way before, and it makes total sense, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I remember when you listened to that, and you messaged me, and you're like, whoa, I feel like a new person. I did! Yeah. I was like, and I told a lot of people about that, too. Like, I told my sister about it, I told my brother about it, and uh, I took a lot of things away from that podcast that I still use to this day. That's awesome. Uh, so, yeah. That makes me happy. Check those podcasts out. Yeah, cool. <laughs> I, I guess I have one to talk about. It. <laughs> okay, so I have a favorite health item. Yay! For like the last three months. Cool. So I got menstrual cups. Yay, menstrual cups. I got a Diva cup at my local Walmart because it's all that they sell there. Mm. And then after doing a little bit of research, I got a Lena cup. <sighs> she could talk to you. We could make like a whole I video. I could make a whole about- video about menstrual cups, you guys. <laughs> I love it so much. Mm-hmm. It's changed my life. Mm-hmm. And you got it three months ago. I got it three months ago. I've, I haven't used a tampon in three months. Yeah. Over three months now. And it is life changing. And I feel in control of my period versus yeah. it controlling me and like what I'm going to do or like where I'm going or making sure I have something with me or whatever. I will forever praise the joys of menstrual cups. So tell us why you like the Lena over the Diva. Okay, so I got the Diva because it was just the only one that they sold and I wanted to try it. Walmart sold. Walmart sold, right. I ordered the Lena off Amazon. But the Diva is kind of like a little more rigid and they're very soft. They're medical grade silicone. They're 100% safe. You can wear it up to 12 hours. There is no risk of any, as long as you wash your hands when you insert and take them out, obviously, and clean them as well. Uh, but boil between periods. Boil between periods and rinse out, blah, blah, blah. Um, this is a little more rigid. And so it was like harder for me to empty my bladder and just like, I don't know. So I ended up getting a Lena Sensitive, which is a little bit softer, and it works wonders. And it's also a different shape. There's like, there's so many menstrual cups out there, but I think uh, the Lena is like my one cup to rule them all. <laughs> you know. And I've I'm talked here to, to spread the word. I'm here to spread the gospel of. Hi, knock knock. Have you heard the joys of menstrual cups? <laughs> uh, but seriously, I actually went on YouTube and watched like a ton of videos about menstrual cups and like tips and like tricks to find like a right fit because there's different sizes, different shapes, and different um, you know softness, softness or rigid. Like um, so, and I think that like really really helped me a lot. Um, they're a little bit more expensive, but they last up to 10 years. And there's no, you know, cotton and and different chemicals and things that you're don't... You're not throwing away trash You're either. not throwing away trash yeah. or plastic applicators or anything like that. And it's just, um, I feel so much better. And I don't cramp as much either, which is great. That's huge. Yeah. And this is like, it's silicone, so it conforms with your body. So it's not just like something rigid you know (laughs) this is like very I don't feel it and I don't think about it I literally have days where I'm just like oh yeah I need to go take care of this you know (laughs) true fan I went to Chattanooga with my husband to see a comedy show the whole time not once did I ever think about it or have to worry about anything and it was so nice to be able to just enjoy that time and be in the moment instead of like in the back of my head like did I bring enough tampons? Where's the next bathroom at? Am I leaking? Am I not? Like, mm-hmm. you know, it's just, it's so nice to not have to worry about it. It does take a little while to, you know, get get it down. Mm-hmm. But um, as of this month was my third month using it. And I feel like I got it. 
you know? I'm happy for you. And I feel great. I love it. That's awesome. Yeah, thank you. Okay. And they come in cute carrying cases. Adorbs! It's so cute. Okay, so, my, yeah. It's my turn. Go ahead. <laughs> There's my, like, five-minute rant on menstrual cups. <laughs> okay, I want to talk about pants. Ooh, I have pants. Wow. Really? As your favorite clothing item? Uh-huh. Okay. Slash shorts, because... Uh, they're the same material. We went to American Eagle. I had a great time. Amazing. I actually got this shirt when we went. Yeah, it's super cute. Uh, I I looked online last night, just on the way home from dinner. We went to dinner last night together. Anyway. What uh, a great time. It was a good time. And I couldn't find these pants. I just hit myself in the face. Uh, I couldn't find these on their website. So I don't know if they're not selling them anymore or if I just didn't see them. Yeah. Anyway, they're high... They're high waisted. Oh man, y'all. Um, they are. What do you call that? Wide legged all the way down. Mm -hmm. They're striped and they have this great tie, and they just. I feel so nice. When you I look wear them. so great. I really like them. them. I'll, they're just. Do you have a picture of you wearing them? You could insert maybe. Or? I don't. Um, I was just gonna show the picture from the website, but I couldn't find them. Oh. So well, if we can find that, then we'll show that. Yes. Yeah. But anyway, they're just. Real good. They look so good on you, too. And I think I got a... Did I get a good discount on these? A little bit, I think. Just a little bit. Just I ended up paying, bit. like, $37 for these pants, which is more than I've ever spent on pants, mm. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty cheap when it comes to pants. Yeah. But these were just worth it. They were. They're so cute. And I feel so fancy when I wear them. Yeah. Very stylish. Yes. So, okay. speaking of that... I'm size um, 10. My bad. Go ahead. I, I got a, my jumpsuit with you there, my pants romper thing, but yeah. I didn't um I didn't include it include it okay. in this one. But mm -hmm. I do love that one. Yes, and I I'm a jeans and a t shirt kind of gal, but I'm an adult. I want to branch out mm -hmm. in my and because I think these things are so cute. But I think that I that's not my style. But like I'm gonna wear it if I want to. Yeah. So I went to Old Navy with my brother a while back, and I bought some linen shorts that's awesome which are like the comfiest mm -hmm. thing in the world i've never owned shorts that like weren't jeans or mm -hmm. sleeping shorts or whatever you know yeah um so i'm actually and i feel like i look like an adult mm -hmm. like a grown 27 year old woman that i am <laughs> Instead of it's more put together, yeah, because you're not wearing jeans, yeah, yeah. And I also got these linen pants, also from Old Navy, also from Old Navy. These are dirty right now, okay. so they're kind of wrinkly, mm -hmm. but they're super they're soft. soft. They're like PJs. You wore them to film a few days ago, and they, I did. You just look so cool. Thank you. Yeah, and then um, you, they'll be my one second video um oh. for June because mm -hmm. you took a quick clip of me in them, but. Okay. I'm branching out in my fashion, and uh, I'm loving it. I'm uh, having a great time. And that's because of you. Oh. You're very encouraging. And uh, when I put on that jumpsuit, you were like, oh, turn around. Look at the back. <laughs> Look at the butt. And I was like, ooh, I love this. <laughs> we I had a really it. good time. Oh, my time. gosh. That was so much fun. Yeah. I don't ever want to shop without you. I don't ever want to shop without you either. Yeah. Well, I mean, I you, did. You did shop without me. <laughs> My brother is also a really good one, though, because oh, he's super, like, totally honest. And he's, like, really into, like, yeah, I know that that's, like, the fashion thing, but I don't care for that. Uh-huh. Okay. But it looks good on you. Yeah. Or he'll say, like, no, I don't like that on you. Wow. You know what I mean? He's super. That's impressive. Yeah. So my I don't mind shopping is, with Dennis. He uh, doesn't know. No, mine doesn't either. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's like, yeah, it looks good. He's either the, like, dang, or he's like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, mine just goes, yeah, it looks good. Everything. Oh, okay. Yeah, it looks good. Oh, that's not good. And I'm like, what What do you think? Like, when I went home and <laughs> put on the jumpsuit and showed him, I was like, what do you think? He goes, well, yeah, that looks good. I'm like, you don't think it looks like pajamas because it's black and white plaid. And he's like, no, it looks good. It's Lord funny. bless him, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Guys in fashion. Uh -huh. I'm excited to see you wear those. That jumpsuit out and about. I did um, a few I know, weeks I ago. Get, I missed it though. Yeah. And then I did notice like there was one woman who like, oh. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> I hope that's good. <laughs> and just kept going on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Um, I recently got my septum pierced. Ooh. Right? You did? Uh -huh. I noticed you're wearing a different. Um, I did. I changed it out this morning. Mm -hmm. um, you had a different one in last night. It was like gold. 
or something. Right. I've been wearing the gold one, and, and I'll pull it out. I'm a fan of um, gold. I really like the gold one. I don't think I I don't think I'm gonna keep the black one in. I don't think I'm into it as much. Yeah, I like the gold better for sure. Mm -hmm. So I spent like twelve dollars and I got six nose rings. They're eight millimeters, so they fit really snug on my nose. Mm -hmm. The ones with the balls I don't like because the ball isn't really supposed to like touch your nose. It's supposed to be below the nose. Does it? Touch and so I need to get yeah. Mm -hmm. So I need to get um like a a wider. In diameter one yeah um, and this is the one that I love and I wear all the time do to do and it just opens like so yeah that's what I have in mind right now yeah on your nostril mm -hmm. um, so I'm I love the clothes like that I do too I'm really excited I was just really excited to get new nose yeah. rings yeah because I had had this retainer in for a long time which is what I got pierced with and I like that one but um, I'm just, I'm excited to like have yeah. a collection. An experiment and do different things. Yeah. So Accessorize. I, I want to get some that are like gems all the way across. Yeah. And mm -hmm. just weird, cool ones. Yeah. And eventually I'll have like a bunch to choose from all the time. I was going to say, I like the ones with the balls. I do too. I just need to get like a um, longer, wider. In diameter. Yeah. Nose ring. Yeah, I see what you're saying. But I'm glad I got that size because I really like the gold that hugs my nose. Yeah. It looked really good last night. Thank you. Who's well, well, it's your I, turn. I went with beauty as opposed to makeup because it's not makeup. But, sure. Um, I bought this on Amazon a little while back. It's a witch hazel toner that's alcohol free with uh, rose petal. It smells toner for your face. Yes. What does it do? What's a toner? Um, it's supposed to kind of help, like, even out your skin tone and stuff. Oh, I need that. And I love, I can tell the difference when I started using it. Like, my cheeks can be a little red sometimes. Mm -hmm. And I just take my makeup off, and then I'll use the toner, like, on a cotton pad, just, and let it dry, and then put on my moisturizer or whatever. And I put it on in the morning and at night. And I can tell a big difference. And I actually got this from a BuzzFeed article where it was, like, only about this and people raving about it mm. on Amazon. And I think it was like seven dollars or something. That's cool. Yeah. So, on Amazon, you said Yeah. Oh neat. And it's almost empty. <laughs> so What's I need to get more. Thayer's Thayer's? Thayer's natural remedies, witch hazel, aloe vera formula, alcohol free. Rose petal. Is this, that the scent? Mm-hmm. Can I smell? Yeah. Does it smell like rose petal? It does. It reminds me of cinnamon a little bit. Mm, it smells, it's a very nice, um, I like it. It smells clean. Adding moisture while helping to protect the skin from airborne impurities and as an alternative to drying astringents. It's alcohol free, so it won't dry out your face. That's and neat. I don't feel like it does either. Cool. Um, like if I don't wear makeup, just sitting around at the house sometimes, I'll just, if I feel like I just need a little refresher, I'll just do a quick swipe. It's got aloe vera to hydrate skin, calming rose water to help soften your skin and give it naturally healthy glow, and witch hazel to tighten pores and smooth skin without drying. Ooh, tighten pores. Mm -hmm. Double it. double need. And it's pretty cheap. Yeah, so, $7 I mean, is it's really good for all that. Do you put yeah. it on a cotton pad? Mm -hmm. That's cool. And I just like, psh, 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 and then just swipe it. Mm -hmm. And then like, done. Uh, and I've, I've actually had this for a few months now. Right on. So... Well, I am very um, acne prone. Mm -hmm. I've been working hard to correct it, yeah. but uh, I'm not there yet. Your face does look really good, it, though. It does yeah. look like I, I have been working on it. Yeah. Um, and I'm close to that time of the month, so mm -hmm. I have a few spots. Yeah. Yeah. But I have been using this for maybe six months now, so it's... Not a completely a, a recent favorite, right? Um, but I keep buying this Revlon Color Stay Full Coverage Cablamo. <sighs> do do do. And where's? <laughs> <laughs> um, this is uh, my my number is one fifty buff matte. It lasts for twenty four hours, and I've never had. Such a good full coverage really before. Yes. I it just covers whatever I got and I love it. 
I'm gonna. How much is it? Is it relatively? It's like eight dollars. Oh, that's and, not. Bad. And this tube lasts a, a good amount right. of time. Yeah. So, and I put it all over my face. Yeah. I love it, and I wish I'd had this in high school when my acne was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I didn't know anything. I just wish it came in a bigger tube. Right. Because I, like I said, I use it all over my face. So right. Not just on my spots. Is it technically a concealer then? Or is it? It's a foundation. Okay. Oh, okay. So it's supposed yeah. to go all over your face, yeah. which is fine. I thought I was just a concealer, <laughs> and I was using it all over my face. No, you're using as it right. A, as a job. foundation. Yeah, cool. <laughs> That's great. That's good to know now. <laughs> I've been using it for like six months. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay. It's your turn. I'll talk about, I guess, my hobby. I knit. Yay. She's a great knitter. Thank you. Slash crocheter. Currently, I'm... Oh, this is so pretty. I love the sparkles. Yes. Yeah. So, I decided to make... I love just knitting blankets because they're just, like, I don't have to think about them or count stitches or whatever. I can just, like... You can just do it. Knit. Not, not think about it. I like it. to knit while I listen to audiobooks or podcasts or watching TV or whatever. Um, so, You're I... a cool person. Thank you. I got this... Yarn. I don't know if the sparkly is showing up, but it's dope. But so cool. It's a very subtle sparkle. It is. I like it. Um. So I'm gonna make this for my husband's niece for Christmas. Your husband's niece. My niece. Which one? Nevaeh. Oh. Um. Which she actually picked this yarn out. And How big will it end up being? Um. This. I do a corner to corner style. Okay. So it's gonna be. I mean, I'm gonna go through this ball. And then start decreasing to make it into the square. So I think it'll be like a decent little lap blanket okay. for us. And I think it would be... I've, I've made one before using the same amount of yarn, but I don't have it because I give them to people. Mm -hmm. um, but it, it would be like a good... May I touch it? Yeah. And it's, it's really soft. It is really yeah. soft. Yeah, she it's did a, a good job. I like this yarn. It's a good yarn. Well, I'm so impressed with you. Thank you. Yeah. I thought about uh, making you a blanket, but I want to make you like a dope blanket. Yeah. I like dope blankets. I'm a blanket person. Yeah. I love blankets. Mm -hmm. I made that blanket. I keep all of my blankets. That's awesome. I want to see how big it is. It's a really big blanket. Is it? Yeah. And that's the same style. I did it corner to corner. <sighs> it is and big. And it's, it's big. And it's heavy. Yeah. Oh, it's gosh. so nice. Can I, I made this blanket. So I was thinking about doing this as maybe like a Christmas blanket or a 4th of July blanket. Oh. But I thought about getting some kind of fabric to put underneath put underneath on the back of it. But I've never done that with any of my stuff before. Yeah. And I don't know exactly how to sew it on there. I have a sewing machine, but like I don't know. I, I've looked into it a little bit, but not as much. But, I, I got um, into like um, thrifting items and then like hemming them up myself yeah and like redoing them that would be cool um but then i stopped see and i don't know oh, how it would work like with my yarn to uh -huh. sew it yeah like i would feel better if i hand sewed it but like i'm i can't really sew that well mm -hmm. well you could um, you know use it as a practice yeah so i thought about maybe trying to back it with some kind of fabric be it maybe like Blue fabric with stars, and then it could be like a patriotic blanket or some kind of. I'm probably gonna go more Christmassy with it. Okay, I I liked the um, like the na patriotic like a navy. Yeah, yeah, I, I think, think that would be, cool. be really cool. Um, and my family always does. You could go circus with it. Oh, I could. My family does um like grab bags, kind of deal like white elephant or whatever people like to call it. And we do different categories, and one of them is pretty much always homemade. And I never put in a blanket. I put in, like, washcloths or a scarf or something like that. But um, I love this blanket, and I think it would be, like, a really cool one to put in, especially yeah. if I could back it with something. Uh -huh. So I thought about making it Christmassy just so I could do that. I see. But it's I haven't made up my mind. It's yeah. very one-monthy. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is the biggest blanket I've made. My my vote is for something that you could put out all the time. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. That's that's what I would yeah. say. I could just go with like just a nice plain yeah, back mm -hmm. and not make it like just specifically like one. red like red to match it or yeah. Okay. It it's nice. Yeah. Pretty. 
I think you're excellent at it. Thank you. <laughs> I can make a scarf tried and, and, and a blanket. Terrible. I've made hats. I've knitted hats, but I'm I'm a lot faster and better at crochet. Like if you show me a picture of something you want, I, and like, can you crochet this? I can figure out a way, even if I can't like find a pattern for it. Yeah. I could probably figure out a way to do it. But knitting is a lot more technical. Mm -hmm. So it's, you know. Have you seen where people knit like around trees and stuff? Yeah. That's, that's so cool. super cool. Yarn bombing. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I have seen that. And they can, they'll do it on like benches and things like that too. That, yeah, that, that is me. really, really cool. If I had more time, I would. <laughs> <laughs> just go around our town and just knit yeah, bomb. That'd be rad. Yeah red as heck. Okay, I want to share one of my um, favorite things that I use. I photograph people. What? <laughs> uh, and I use my prism to do that all the time. I think it's really cool. Uh, and what you do is you put this in front of your lens and you kind of twist it. I was thinking maybe I, maybe I could display it. You just twist until you find the Ooh. reflection that you want. Oh, that's cool. I think I like the reflection of the that right there. Anyways. Yeah, I use it to pretty good effect during a first dance mm -hmm. at a wedding most recently. We should insert that. We should. And then I broke it. I was going to ask if it was. Um, so I could cut myself on it easily. I just pay attention when I use it now. What is it I was made of? Glass. Oh, it is it will glass. Cut you. <laughs> Uh, anyway, I, I was at like a gig mm -hmm. and I was taking pictures of my husband's band, Two Dead Men, and I was squatted down, I used it, and then put it in my lap, and then I stood up, and oh. it was on concrete, and then it just went psh, and there was a bunch of little pieces on the ground, and there were people around me that helped me get it up. They weren't very nice about it, but... Rude. Which, <laughs> yeah. Um, I wasn't embarrassed until everyone was like... Yeah. What? Why? So, I don't know. Usually people are really cool and nice at shows. Yeah. Um, but they weren't nice to me. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I'm sorry. That's all right. The I only have one category left, and that's food. Food. I have two. Okay. So that works. So, my oldest brother had told me about ah these pickles. Yes. I'm a little wet because I took them out of my fridge a little while ago. <laughs> They are spicy maple bourbon fresh pack pickle chips. And I love them. They have, I'm going to eat them now. I, I would like one. I had one. I don't love it because it's very bread and butter, which yeah. I don't enjoy so much. But it has like a spice. Oh, yeah. There's May, some, can I yeah. just put my finger oh, on it? Yeah, for sure. That's what I do. Yeah. So the first taste is more like sweet pickle, like bread and uh -huh. butter. Uh -huh. And then it's like, oh, okay, that's kind of good. And then that yeah. heat kicks you. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. And then once you swallow it, after like a couple minutes, it goes away. Mm -hmm. The heat does. Mm -hmm. I do like it. It's probably the best bread and butter pickle I've had. But in general, I wouldn't eat it just for fun. I do. Mm -hmm. I'll be at work and my mouth will start watering because I'm thinking about these pickles. <laughs> yeah. One more and I'm done. Okay. I have one too and you could just eat pickles away. We started talking about hot fun flaming hot onions this morning. And so I went and I got some. When I first saw these, I my jaw dropped because I had never thought that these two things that I love would combine. Mm. And it blew my mind. And now you can find them almost anywhere. I was with you the first time I ever had these. Yes. Because I was like, oh my gosh, have you tried these? Mm. And they're addicting. I could just eat the bag. Lemon Hot Cheetos is my all-time favorite chip. And Funyuns I really love as well. Mm. My favorite, and it's not a chip, but white cheddar popcorn is my favorite snack. Mm. These are like a second. I never had that until you either. My son loves that popcorn. And he calls it Jessica popcorn. <laughs> so he says, we have Jessica popcorn? Do we have Jessica popcorn? That's really good. It makes me happy. It is Jessica popcorn. Mm. I got one more. 
Okay, the last thing I have here is a YouTube channel. And it's not a booktube channel because we're not doing bookish things. Mm -hmm. um, one non-booktube YouTube channel that I enjoyed watching is Taylor Jackson. He is a wedding photographer. And when I photographed my first wedding, his videos gave me so much comfort. Mm -hmm. What he does is he he was like the first one to do this too. He puts a GoPro on top of his camera mm. during weddings and and does like a voiceover while you watch him take photos. And it was so helpful. I'm, I feel like my crunching is so loud right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> and he's, he's like a funny, weird dude. And he just does... He also, and this is something I've never seen anyone do. He, by himself, not all the time, but sometimes, he'll just, he'll photograph and video a wedding. Like, go back and forth between the two. He uses the Nikon D750, which is what I want <laughs> next. How did that give you comfort? Oh, um, because I just felt like I was in the driver's seat. And he was so calm, you know. And the, and the idea of photographing a wedding gave me so much anxiety. Because I needed to, it needed to be correct, mm. and I needed to get all the moments. And, and you I, have one chance. <laughs> yeah, and I, um, I would have, like, nightmares about my SD cards corrupting and stuff like that. And so, yeah, it just made me feel calm. He also gave me this advice, me, like he was talking to me. He, sa <laughs> he said, smile the whole time, and everyone will think before they even see the photos that you've done a great job. Yeah. And that is the truth. Mm -hmm. And the first wedding I did, I smiled the whole time. I appeared outwardly calm. You okay? I really need to get a <laughs> tissue right now. I'm sorry. I think I'm going to sneeze. But when the wedding was over, the mother of the bride came up to me and she was like, you did such a good job. Oh. And I was like, you don't even know. You haven't seen the photos yet. <laughs> you were like super stressed out about that one. I was. Um, and the bride was angry. Like she wasn't mean towards me, but weddings are very stressful. Yeah. Yeah. And she was, like, yelling at her mom and stuff, and it was just not, like, the best first wedding experience. Your second one, the pictures were amazing. Yes. But and the, the, the first one, it was fine. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. they, the, the photos were good. Like, she was happy. Um, but I knew I could do better. And so the next one, I for sure, I think. Yeah. yeah. Also, it was, like, a better environment, too. Mm-hmm. So, okay, that's it for us. Thank you so much for watching our recent favorites. I hope that you enjoyed. Um, please leave comments below and we'd like to have a chat with you. Yeah. When you play the game of Tomes, you read or you die. Come be our friends. Social media links in the description below. And we hope you're reading a great book. Bye. Bye.